printing saw I use PTG and 0.8mm nozzle. A little support is needed. I don't recommend to use regular support, tree support take you way less time and material. In the end it took 13 and half hours to print and somewhere around 400 grams of filament. And this what I think is called saw table, I use ABS and also 0.8mm nozzle. Printing this took less than 9 hours and 298 grams of filament. But this print didn't turn out so good, I got serious warping and layer separation. But I still keep this part. And final thing before we are ready to building is to remove those supports. Because it's 3 supports it's pretty easy to do. For the motor I use 895DC motor instead of 775. This is more than twice stronger than 775 when I run this on 24 volts. Installing this motor is really easy. Just drop this into the motor place I guess. Line up the holes and secure this in place with 4 or 5 mm bolts. And by the way the motor ventilator is not covered. The body is designed like so the tire can move around to prevent motor overheating. Now it's time to connect this sav body to the sav table or bottom piece however to call this. For that I am using 6 mm threaded rod and lock nuts. Hopefully I have to use this hand sav last time. Those two springs, <laughs> uh, they are too weak and won't hold the shit. But I don't have stronger ones so I had to be creative at this point. So the solution that works is to take two springs, one of them is a bit smaller and push this into the slightly bigger one. But this is still not enough so I need four of them. Totally I use eight springs. Now this is working exactly as needed. The saw is pretty much ready, the only thing now is to connect the cutting disc. For this we need 20 to 30 mm piece of 8 mm threaded rod. The order how this is going together you see on the screen. To connect the disc with the motor I need a 5x8mm coupler. This coupler is actually in 3 pieces and just to be extra safe I glued everything together with epoxy glue. I just don't want this disc fly to my face or something. It shouldn't happen anyway because they are really really strongly together but just for extra safety. Now it's finally time to run this saw for the first time. The disc is vibrating hard. It had to be fixed before we start cutting something. First I was sure that this is the coupler's fault. I tried exactly the same one without its epoxy glue thing. It didn't work. Then I steal a different design coupler from my 3D printer. Still not working. Next I was thinking that the cutting disc is a bit bent. I bought new ones but still nothing. The problem was those 3D printed parts. When you have 3D printed circles then you probably have seen this line at one side. This is called seam. This is causing this problem. The seam is pushing one side of the disc a bit more than opposite side and the disc is just a little bit bent. To fix this I try to sand this down as best I can. The vibration is almost gone. There is just a little bit but I think this is not the problem anymore. Because this saw is so light I attach this to a piece of wood. Now it's a bit safer and more comfortable to use. 
for the power supply I use two power drill batteries. This is not the best solution but this is the only way how I get 24 volts. For the really first test I tried to cut this really thin metal pipe and just to see how big of a difference it makes I use 12 volts for the first time. And for some reason those disconnecting 3D printed things are now red. This took way too long time. Let's now go the same pipe with 24 volts. Obviously the difference is huge. But let's try to good now something that needs a bit more effort. This is a 6mm threaded rod made of steel. Eighteen seconds. Well, let's be honest. Homemade three D printed table saw. This result is not bad at all. But okay, let's continue. Eight millimeter metal pipe made of aluminium. A bit after the start, I saw the vibration is back and I stopped this test. The next morning, I fixed this again. To increase the safety, I printed this cover. This is also helped to prevent those parts flying everywhere. But okay, I use all the time 8mm steel rods in my projects. So let's try to cut them. Why this took so long? One reason is at the end the batteries are almost out of juice. And the second the vibration is back again. Here you see the gut is like V shape, it should be just a straight line. But there is a solution for this vibration problem. The angle grinder connecting thing. I ordered this but it took a couple of weeks to arrive. When I have this I probably do a short video to show how this perform. And to connect this with saw I need also 5x6mm coupler, what I don't have right now, so this is ordered also. But this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, I will be really happy when you push this like and subscribe button if you haven't done this yet. But thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.